guys, my name is Maggie. Welcome to my channel. It is almost spring, which is so exciting because winter is terrible and spring is the next step to warm weather, summer, and eventually fall. Um, so I love decorating my apartment seasonally no matter what the season is and spring has really crept up on me and I needed to make some cheap, easy decorations quickly and that is exactly what I did. So I hope you enjoy this video of my DIY spring decoration projects that I have made for you today. And you can take this weekend to do them and then you'll be ready for spring. And then you have it already. And it's so much fun. For this project you're going to need a glass bottle, some painting tape or masking tape, paint brushes, some kind of pastel acrylic paint, some Mod Podge, something to put your paint on, I'm using a paper plate, and some real or fake flowers, and some tissue paper. First, you're gonna to wanna to take your bottle, make sure it is clean without any residue left over from a label, if you had a label. Then you're going to take the masking tape strips. Again, this is easier if you have actual small masking tape. I got these strips out of uh, masking tape that I had around, and you're just gonna put these around the bottle so that they match up at the ends. And you can do as many of these as you like. I'm only going to do two today because this bottle is kind of short, but I did do three rings on a taller bottle. Once the tape is even, you can get your paint out and just put some of that on a surface and start painting your bottle. Don't go above the tape line, um, but pretty much from your tape below, you wanna paint all of that. I set this out to dry and then came back with a second coat because acrylic paint doesn't love sticking to glass and this paint is, definitely needs more than one coat. Once your second coat is dry, you can pick at the tape and pull it off um, and it should leave you with two pretty clean lines of paint, but if you're like me and you used a hair dryer and the paint is kind of warm <laughs> and is flaking off. You can go back with a paintbrush and fix any mistakes you have and then let that dry um, before we go on to the next step. So next we're going to seal this off with Mod Podge. This is a matte paint, but this Mod Podge will give it a kind of clear, glossy color. Um, but this is not my waterproof Mod Podge, so this is not something you can really wash um, so don't get it dirty. Or just use the Mod Podge that's not water soluble, up to you. Once that is all dry and clear, you can take whatever you want to fill this with. Because we're using fake flowers, I'm not filling it with water. I'm going to be filling it with this white tissue paper, but you could fill it with rocks, you could fill it with even soil and fake grass, moss, whatever you want. But I'm using t tissue paper because that's what I had around. If you have fake flowers, you're going to want to cut them so they're a little shorter to fit the bottle that you have. Um, I just got these flowers at Walmart and used these scissors to cut them, but it would be easier if you had wire cutters because these wires were a little tough to cut. Once that's done, arrange your flowers however you like, and then you can set them pretty much anywhere in your house, and it brings a nice little pop of spring color um, to any corner of your room. For this project, all you're going to need is a glass jar of some sort, a swatch of light colored thin fabric, I got this at Michael's, a roller, a battery operated tea light candle, some glue, a pen, a small cup, and a paintbrush. First what you're going to do is measure your fabric to see how much you need for each strip. Once you know the length of your strip, measure out the width, which should be one inch. So I just laid down a ruler and marked one inch, and then begin cutting out the strips. So once you have a pile of fluffy strips, you're gonna take um, your glue and put a little bit of water in it just so it gets a kind of watery glue texture that isn't too gloopy. Once your mixture is watery enough, but not completely watery, you're gonna dip one whole strip inside the glue, get it all covered, and then as you take it out, take your two fingers or your finger and your thumb and slide them down, pinching from the top of the strip to get all of that excess glue off because we really only need a little bit on each strip. Then place your strip inside your jar and use the paintbrush to kind of pat it down. Make sure there are no air bubbles and that it's tightly up against the side and the bottom of the jar. 
You're gonna do this all the way around the jar and this might take some time so make sure you put on a 40 minute episode on Netflix or a movie or something entertaining because this does take a little bit of time. Once you've gone all the way around the jar, you wanna cut off the excess from the top because if it dries, it will dry hardened and then the tops of the fabric won't be glued to the top of the jar. So take a moment, your scissors might get sticky but you can clean them off later and just cut the strips um, close enough to the lid of the jar as you can. Once your jar is completely dried and the glue is set, you can get your battery operated tea light. I got this one from the Dollar Tree too for a dollar. And turn it on and drop it in there and then turn off your lights and magic. This is probably the easiest DIY decoration you can do. All you're gonna need for this is a couple frames, which I got from Walmart and the Dollar Tree, and some printables, which I got printed at Walmart for pretty cheap. As with most picture frames, all you have to do is open up the back, put in your picture, make sure you put the back on correctly, and set it up and you're good to go. There are tons of free printables. I found these on Pinterest and I'll link some of them below. But this is also great because you can change these frames as the seasons come and go. You can change it for summer, fall, winter, anything you want. Um, and it's a really versatile, great idea. And there are free printables for every season and every holiday. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you liked it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and leave a comment of any links to uh, cheap DIYs I haven't done yet or send me a picture on social media if you do any of these things because I'd love to see it. So my social media is on the screen. You can follow me there. Please tweet at me all of your DIYs that even if you do mine or if you do others, I definitely want to see them and I will see you next time. Bye.